Jericho is single, but he's not lonely. <laughs> he lives in a small apartment. He was rescued from the streets, so he went from living on the streets to living on king-size sheets. But he's not lonely, even though he's single, because I do these five things for him every single day. He's got enrichment, mental stimulation, fun cat stuff, lots of playtime, and routines. All of these things are crucial for all cats, whether they're single or not, when they're living indoors. We wanna do the best that we can to recreate all of these natural instincts indoors. Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho. It is a blessing that you are here. Hallelujah. So single cat happiness, hack number one, enrichment. Enrichment is really important because it provides mental stimulation. This can prevent boredom, prevent stress, and it can also prevent behavior issues and litter box issues. So to provide the right enrichment, we need to set up our cat's territory. Yes, your home is your cat's territory properly. So this includes things like scratching areas, hiding areas, places to sleep. <laughs> tall cat furniture so that they can perch and survey their territory and also look down on you because let's face it, our cats rule the home. And Jericho also has an open concept yet private litter box area. So Jericho has scratching areas in every room, which is two rooms, I have a one bedroom. Our bedroom is set up as an office and then our living room is set up like a studio. So our bedroom is in the living room, the bedroom is an office. And Jericho has a, scratcher, a scratching post in the living room area, and he has a scratching post in this office. He also has his tall cat ladder, which is amazing because it serves multiple enrichment needs. So the cat ladder has carpet on each step, so he can scratch on it, he can run on it, which is great for exercise, and then he can also perch on the top of it. So scratching for cats is really important because this helps them feel safe and confident in their territory, AKA your home. Scratching actually helps them mark their territory and it also relieves stress, natural stress reliever, which is great. Cats do it when they're excited and they also scratch to shed dead layers of their claws. So this is a natural instinct that all cats have. We just need to keep, teach our cat how to use this scratcher, which is really easy. Hiding areas are really great for cats because in the wild they are both predator and prey. So they like to have these little secluded hiding areas just in case maybe there's, you have some noisy neighbors like me who always sound like they're dropping pool balls. Maybe they, you live in what sounds like a parking garage and there's always sirens driving by. Maybe you're having friends and family over. Maybe you are gonna have your management team come, you know, for the building management to do an inspection. All of these different scenarios, you know, cats do like to have their little secluded hiding places. So things like cat condos, cat beds, like this cat bed actually opens, so it's a little cat cave. Or open concept litter area. So cats do like secluded and private, but they also don't wanna have to climb a mountain and like go through a closet to get to their bathroom. You know, they want it to be easy and accessible, but also in a low traffic area that's out in the open. So Jericho's litter box is nestled between the wall of my closet and the couch. So it's open in that he can see his territory and see his surroundings, but it's also in a private area where we don't walk around a lot. So it's a low traffic area and he's able to do his business privately, but it's also open so that he can survey his territory. Cause again, in the wild, they are also prey. So when they're using the bathroom, that's when they're the most vulnerable. So they wanna be able to look around and be like, okay, I'm safe, I can do my business. Single cat happiness hack number two, mental stimulation. So mental stimulation is important for cats because this prevents stress, this prevents boredom, and preventing these things can also prevent behavior issues, litter box issues, trust issues, and it can also prevent obesity, which is very interesting. So how I solve mental stimulation needs is mimicking hunting indoors. And we can do this by hiding our cat's treats around the home for them to hunt. And I feed Jericho raw meaty bones so that completes that mental stimulation need for hunting. 
And we can also do this with puzzle toys and also clicker trading. So for hunting for treats around the apartment, I use freeze-dried raw treats. I hide these on glass jar lids. I put them on top of the cat ladder. I put them inside the cat condos, put them inside the ripple rug, which I'll talk about in another section. I hide them on the scratching post up on a table. This is a great tip if your cat is overweight and you're trying to get him more active. You can hide food and treats on top of condos. Make him work for that food, you know, because again, out in the wild, they're hunters. They have to work for their food. So when they're working for their food, then they get their food. That completes that mental stimulation. It's kind of like when we have goals, you know, we, we plan it out and we make a to-do list and then we set goals for ourselves. We accomplish those goals. We feel really good about ourselves. It's the same with our cats out in the wild. They have to plan you know, okay, when do I, when's the perfect time to attack? I'm sure you've seen your cat do the little butt wiggle <laughs> while you're playing with him. That's them testing the ground to see if they have a stable uh, surface so that they can jump off of it because they want to make sure that they plan that attack because not every hunt is successful. So they want to make sure that they're using their energy purposefully and they're going to actually like really try their best, try their hardest to get that. And then once they finally do catch and kill their prey, they eat it, they chomp on the whole prey, and they get a delicious meal, they get nutrition, and that completes that mental stimulation. So going off of that with raw meaty bones, chewing and chomping on the raw meaty bones provides a lot of mental stimulation as well. There's a lot of facial muscle use and the jaw exercise, but really it's just that physical maceration of chewing and chomping that completes that mental stimulation. There's even a survey that veterinarians sent out to pet owners because they wanted to see where the relation is happening between cat parents and feline obesity. And they actually found that cat parents who were feeding raw meat bones, that was strongly protective against obesity because of the mental stimulation, because of the enrichment, but also very interesting, it takes the cats longer to eat their meal and therefore the cat parent was less likely to overfeed. So all around really, really great benefits to feeding homemade raw meaty bones. For clicker training, I got into this because Jericho is a counter surfer. I don't know about your cat, he loves being in the kitchen with me. He's got to be nosy. He's got to help me make his meals. And so I wanted to do clicker training to train some better habits in him. But the other thing is that clicker training also provides mental stimulation. Kind of goes along the same thing where you're doing work and then you're getting a reward for it. So with clicker training, you train your cat to understand that when there's a click, then they get a reward. And then you train behaviors on top of that. So we've been clicker training every day and it is, it's is—it's been so much fun and it is helping him stay out of the kitchen. Now I still need to clicker train in the kitchen or near the kitchen so that he understands the, the behavior where the temptation is, but just clicker training alone every day, whether you have a problem that you wanna solve or you just want mental stimulation, it's a really, really great thing for you both to do. And it's a bonding experience, I love it. Single cat happiness hack number three is fun cat stuff. So I already kind of talked about this, but having fun cat stuff in your cat's territory, aka your home, makes him feel safe, makes him feel comfortable, makes him have this enrichment, mental stimulation, and also just makes him feel like this is my home. You know, in your home, I'm sure you have pictures of your family on the wall. I have paintings that I've done. You know, I have my personal stuff. You have stuff in your home that makes you feel like you're at home. So we, we do the same thing for our cats. So I already talked about a lot of the things that Jericho has. I mentioned before the ripple rug. This is one of the best activity mats that I've come across because it satisfies a lot of enrichment needs. And my tip here is really to buy pieces that satisfy multiple enrichment needs. So like I said before, with the cat ladder, Jericho can run and climb on it, so that's healthy exercise. He can perch on top of it, so that's enrichment. He can scratch on it, that's more enrichment and mental stimulation. So, and we can play on it too. So really want to find these pieces that build on top of multiple enrichment needs because then you're spending money on something that serves more than one purpose. So with the ripple rug, that's enrichment because Jericho can play in it, he can hide in it, he can rest in it. Jericho doesn't like when I film. I don't know, I think because I'm just talking too loudly and it kind of bothers him. Usually right now is his nap time and I work quietly, so 
I'll, I'll, I'll splice in some, some Jericho B-roll so you can still see him. Now I'm sure you're thinking, Jess, I'm way too busy to keep track of all of this and I still have two more hacks for you. <laughs> so, and I, I, I understand because I feel the same way, you know, whenever I'm working, I get lost in my work and then Jericho will walk all over my keyboard, which is cat talk for pay attention to me. So I created a cat care binder bundle, which is a one-stop resource for all things related to your cat all in one place. The binder bundle comes with three printable planners and three digital planners. So you get six in one. The printables are five different sizes and there are three color options for each. So this is really great for multiple cats. I know we're talking about single cats, but it's really great for all cat parents just because you can personalize it and you can, <laughs> Perfect example right here where Jericho's like, stop talking and pay attention to me. But this is really perfect for keeping track of all of your cat's needs all in one place. And you also get a bonus access to my cat care hub, which includes my five minute a week litter cleaning routine, how I get lazy cats to play, best cat toys, all of Jericho's supplies, how to hire and find the best cat sitter, health and wellness resources, and so much more. So again, truly a one-stop shop for your cat's needs. You can check out the Cat Care Binder bundle in the description below. You support my business, you get a great product, and your cat can live a thriving life. It's a win-win-win. Single cat happiness hack number four, play with your cat. So playing with our cats is really, really important because it's healthy exercise, which can prevent obesity. It provides mental stimulation, enrichment. It's a great way to mimic the hunting experience indoors, and it's a great bonding experience as well. So all of these things can prevent behavior issues, litter box issues, trust issues, you know, all of these things that cats need Playing with your cat is a great way to encompass all of them. So I like to use natural toys made out of wool, cotton, hemp, feathers, fur, stuff that mimics the natural prey that cats like. I even bring sticks from outside. That's how I make friends with every cat that I meet outside is I just use sticks. So I'll use that with Jericho as well. Just anything that has that natural material is going to attract your cat immediately just because you know, it's reminding him of what they would hunt outside. The indoor version of hunting is playing. It's also important to have a lot of variety. I found, and I'm sure you found this with your cat too, I found that Jericho gets bored easily. So I like to rotate between toys and also keep notes in the cat care binder to see what Jericho likes, what he doesn't like, and then I kind of fine tune and maybe I'll retire a toy for a little while. Then when you bring that toy back, it seems like it's a new toy. The other important thing here is patience as well. So I would suggest looking at videos online of how cats hunt. You might notice that they don't pounce the first time that they see prey. <laughs> Bye Jericho, round two. They are going to take their time because their energy is really important. So they don't want to use that energy unless they know for sure that they're going to get that prey. And again, you know, yes, we're just playing with toys, but the indoor version of hunting is playing in the cat's mind. So just be patient, you know, and just remember that your cat isn't going to pounce the first time he sees the toy, move it around, try to move it around unexpectedly, just like a prey would. And again, pay attention to what your cat responds to and just do more of that. So this video idea came from multiple comments actually of people suggesting to me to get another cat because Jericho is a single cat. <laughs> but you know, I understand where the mindset comes from, but I only have the means and resources to take care of one cat, so that's how many I have. That's the simple answer. But the longer drawn out answer is that I have grown up with multiple cats and multiple dogs. For example, right now my mom has four cats and five dogs. It's a lot. <laughs> and I personally would rather give 100% to Jericho than 30% to multiple cats. Also, there's a study that shows that cats prefer human interaction to other stimuli, including food, treats, toys, and other cats. So that explains why Jericho is more of a people person. <laughs> also, when he was in foster care before I adopted him, she told me that he didn't bond with any other cats or any of the dogs. So I understand that having multiple pets is really nice. They can play with each other, they can bond with each other. But again, I only have the means and resources to take care of one cat. Plus I do all of these things for Jericho. So he's very happy and very content indoors. Cat happiness hack number five, routines. Routines are really important because cats prefer predictability. They like to do the same things every day. They like 
these routines, they thrive on routines. And again, these routines can prevent stress, can prevent behavior issues, can prevent litter box issues, just because they prefer to have a structured day. And this is because out in the wild, they don't take a chance on anything. They don't do anything unexpected because that could mean their survival. So they like predictability and they like routines. A lot of the routines that I have for Jericho are feeding schedules. We play at the same time every day. And I also keep his litter box clean every day. And we also have a cuddle and nap time session every day. Come here, Jericho, you wanna lay down? Well, he takes a nap and I watch <laughs> educational stuff on YouTube. But he's very admin about this one. I know if, if I take too long for this, he will start to bother me and meow and protest. <laughs> and the cool thing about routines is once it's a routine, your cat will expect it. So with clicker training, for example, I kept saying, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And then later came and I never did it but I attached it onto another routine that I already had in place. So in the morning I go outside, I go for a walk to get early morning sunshine. Then I come back and I do clicker training. Jericho meets me at the door. He's rubbing all over the walls. Look, look at how cute I am. He's excited for this routine now. So that's another big tip that I have for you. Stack routines on top of each other. Like Jericho likes to play after he eats. I go for my morning sunshine walk, I come back and I clicker train him, and then we also play afterwards just because he gets the zoomies and, and he gets uh, super energetic after he eats. So pay attention to what your cat does already and kind of stack routines on top of that. Maybe when you get home from work, you're feeling a little stressed, take a moment to sit down on the couch, pet your cat, you know, that could be the routine. After I clip Jericho's claws, our routine is that I give him a little petting massage. So I run my fingers through his fur and he looks forward to it, you know? Clipping his claws is a piece of cake because of because I have these routines. Check the description for my cat care binder bundle. It includes everything that you need all in one place to give your cat a thriving life. Thanks for watching.